So what exactly do you make for a Ridgeline Passport and Pilot? I'll tell you what guys, let me show you. All right guys, so we're just gonna go front to back first and then I'm gonna come back and talk about each piece. So we have our front skid plate extension, front skid plate, mid plate, cap plate, carrier bearing, second carrier bearing, gas tank, and then lastly, we have the rear skid plate. And I've lined these up roughly with where they belong on the truck. That way you have an idea of where they go. All right, so we're gonna get started here with the front skid plate extension. And this is going to bolt to this front lip here on the front skid plate. And this is gonna be just something for the guys that have the additional subframe drop of the larger two and a half inch or three and a half inch lift kits from the likes of HRG and Traxta. And that piece looks like that once you get it on the truck and get it bolted up. So that's that piece. That piece is made out of 3 16 50 52. The front skid plate is also made of 3 16 50 52. It has oil, engine oil service. We also have PTU access here. It can be done to change your uh, differential fluid if you'd like. However, it is much simpler with it off. I'll admit to that. These uh, holes do help with ventilation. And then we have re retain the factory jack point in this design as well. You have mounts for the uh, M6 standard hardware or the U bolt hardware here and here. You can use there. Then moving back to the mid, this is a quarter inch 5052 aluminum. And then we provide stainless steel mounting tabs for the wings. I like, that's what I call them. And then these, we reuse the factory bolts to tie back into the subframe stiffener. I have been, seen in one instance where a gentleman had a 2022 uh, Pilot Trail Sport. It did not have the subframe stiffener installed at all. And when he bought the kit, it wouldn't fit. And so through a series of pictures, we actually figured out that that piece was missing from the bottom of his pilot. Moving back further, we now have the cat skid. This is gonna cover your catalytic converter and is made of a 10 gauge stainless steel. So it's gonna be a real bugger to cut off if you're getting into that kind of situation or trying to prevent that from happening. Then we have the carrier bearing for the front of the Ridgeline has two carrier bearings. So we've got one here for the front. This is a quarter inch aluminum piece. And then we have one for the rear carrier bearing. And I'll say this, the rear carrier bearing is most likely to be the one that gets hit in a breakover situation. This one might get hit if you were to drive like off a step uh, and the suspension would compress on the truck you might catch this one, but realistically you'll hit that cat skid first if it's on your, on your truck. Uh, moving back here, we are at the gas tank skid plate. This bolts to the factory uh, crash bar on the front of the gas tank. So that's where this bolts up. And then we have the arm that shifts and goes up, back up to the chassis and ties into the, uh, there's a little tiny brace back there we reuse the factory bolts on it that's made out of 3 16 50 52 and then lastly we have the rear diff which bolts up to the rear cradle so that way it doesn't matter if you have a subframe drop or not there's not any additional spacer or anything like that needed and this uh, is also made out of 3 16 so we have mostly all aluminum parts for this truck they work well they save you a lot of weight and then we do offer like I said, this, this cap plate is stainless steel. That way, if you start to really try to hack into it, it's gonna put up quite the fight and work hard and uh, any sawzall blade you're gonna just throw at it along with some of these other parts are quarter inch. So we kind of have more of those in the uh, high, high impact areas, as I would call them, uh, at a quarter inch. But either way though, these are all the plates that we sell for the Ridgeline passport and pilot all right guys well that's going to be a wrap for this video i hope you found it informative and if you have any questions feel free to reach out and i'll get back to you as soon as i can and just remember that 
we've got you covered, whether you're trying to hit imaging pass or you completely miss that curb on your way to Costco. We got you. So either way, have a good one.